Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the course of the last two weeks, the Canary and Dev channels didn't receive a new build. And this has all changed now, and Microsoft is back in full swing now with this week's latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 26080, which they released on the 13th of March to the Canary and Dev Channel Insiders. Now, there's quite a lot going on uh, in this latest build, so I'm just going to stick to the key highlights if you are interested in new features that Microsoft is testing in the Insider program. And these are the features now we are going to be expecting to see roll out with the Windows 11 24H2 feature update later on this year, which will be this year's annual feature update. So what's new in build 26080? Well, there's been some significant updates to Microsoft Teams in Windows 11, where Microsoft says that starting with Windows 11 version 24H2. So there's another confirmation that these are features that are going to be made available with this year's annual update. Starting with version 24H2, Teams users will get access to a preview experience of the new unified Microsoft Teams on Windows. Microsoft says in this preview, Microsoft Teams will be available as a single app, enabling you to switch between multiple cloud environments, tenants, and account types across personal and work. And this, u this new unified app will soon be rolled out to commercial customers as well through the normal update process. So to add, a, to add or access additional accounts, select your profile picture um, at the upper right corner of Teams when you sign into Teams. So basically Teams now is becoming a unified application. Now moving on to some other improvements. Due to feedback, these changes are all taking place. And you can now prefer a single Teams app. Microsoft says that allows you to easily access and switch between personal and work accounts. This update lets you use one app for all kinds of Teams accounts. And they also mention that in upcoming builds, when you are joining a meeting, you can select the account you want to use. You will also be able to join a meeting without signing in. So quite a few significant updates that um, could be rolling out with Teams with version 24H2. And then notifications have also been improved. Microsoft says showing which Teams account they belong to. In addition, personal notifications have more details, giving clear and easy actions from the notification banner. And also, they also mentioned that you can now launch personal and work accounts simultaneously with separate icons on the taskbar. So a lot of Teams updates rolling out with version 24H2. And then Copilot is also getting quite a lot of attention. And for Copilot, they've made improvements to Copilot in Windows that are rolling out to more Windows insiders. So Microsoft is building upon these over the last couple of builds where they say they have been trying out new runtime, a new runtime for Copilot in Windows that allows you to manage more settings via Copilot, including accessibility, focus settings, and you can also use Power Automate Desktop through Copilot, which is a new one. So yes, some more of the built-in capabilities that Microsoft is rolling out now via Copilot in Windows, in the Canary and the Dev channel. So with this uh, new update, if you are in those channels, you can ask for available wireless networks for system or device information, for battery information, to clean storage, to empty recycle bin, to toggle battery saver, to show startup apps. You can ask for your IP address and you can ask for system, device or storage information. And you can also try accessibility features where you can ask to turn on a rater, open voice access, turn on magnifier, change text size, start live captions, turn on high contrast. And you can also ask to start voice typing and that's building upon some of the capabilities we've had a look at in previous videos that have already rolled out for Copilot uh, in the Canary and Dev channel. So as I've mentioned, version 24H2 of Windows 11 is going to have a lot more um, AR Copilot features integrated into the OS. So Microsoft are really moving in that direction. And then over and above the fact that they've introduced Power Automate um, via Copilot in Windows, which I think is more for your admins and IT administrators, they also are beginning to roll out an updated Copilot in Windows that adds the ability to switch between the existing docked behavior that attaches Copilot to the side of your desktop and a new mode where it acts like a normal app window, which can 
resize and move around your screen. Now, I have been touching on this in some previous videos, and this was actually a hidden feature, and this is now starting to be officially tested in these early preview builds. And I actually think um, if this does roll out um, with 24H2, this will be a nice move where you can change the size of Copilot. You'll be able to move it around your desktop, almost like a widget, which I think is a nice move. As part of this change, Microsoft says they're also introducing some under-the-hood improvements as well. This experience, though, just take note, is beginning to roll out to insiders in the Canary channel. So um, being able to undock and resize Copilot is only available in Canary and not Dev. So just take note of that. And then moving on to another one, um, you can also now turn on live captions more quickly by using the new quick setting. So live captions has its own quick setting, which I also think is a nice move. So to do this, obviously you just open quick settings from the system tray, you scroll down, and then you select the live captions quick setting. And then moving on to another one, um, the second last one for the purpose of today's video, they've updated the design of the progress bar under app icons to help make it easier to see. And this will also appear on the taskbar as well as the start menu. And I actually think that's a very small but significant update where you can actually now see the progress. Um, there's this progress indicator where currently that's a little bit hard to see on Windows 11. So that's a nice move as well. And then the last one for today's video, um, this is for File Explorer. Microsoft says when extracting files, if there is a file name conflict, you can now choose to apply your selected action. So you can skip replace for all conflicts. And I actually think that's also a nice step forward. So guys, that's more or less what's new uh, in the Canary and Dev channels for this week. So um, there wasn't any builds for two weeks. So obviously, Microsoft now has made up for lost time by rolling out quite a major update. And over and above these... Um, new features we've had a look at today in this video. There's also fixes for known issues and a whole lot of other fixes. Too much to get into for this video, but obviously um, Microsoft is playing catch up here and obviously have, has a bit of work to do after um, taking two weeks off from the Canary and Dev channels. And as mentioned, um, this update rolled out on the 13th of March and that's build 26080 for the Canary and Dev Channel Insiders. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.